Okay, let's shop. I'm starting with Farfetch because there's something that I have my eye on. But Farfetch is an amazing website because it stocks a really wide range of luxury goods from small independent designers to larger fashion houses such as Gucci. And I like to browse a new in section because they always keep it very up to date. These Bottega boots have been on my radar but they're a little bit out of my price range and they're also sold out. You have to really be quick with Bottega products right now. So before I do too much damage, I'm going straight to what I want and I'm searching for a Burberry bag and it's one that I've had my eye on for a long time. It is the Lola Monogram Detail Crossbody. This bag is a really beautiful quilted crossbody bag and I really love the newer styles of Burberry bags. I really love what the designer has done with the brand and being British, I definitely feel like there's that British heritage and loyalty there with Burberry. So I was really excited to receive my parcel and when it arrived it was packaged beautifully and I could not have been more excited for what was inside and the bag is as beautiful as I imagined. It's in this gorgeous, gorgeous, very unique quilt. It's in a soft leather, it's not a really structured bag but that's kind of perfect for me because I was after something that's perfect for everyday use, I can chuck lots of things in. I can wear it in multiple ways. So I can wear it on my shoulder. This is my personal favourite way of wearing a bag and the black leather strap just makes it that much more comfortable. And I just think it tucks underneath the shoulder really perfectly. You can also wear this as a crossbody which is a really practical way of wearing a bag. Easy access and also it's very comfortable because it's a soft pouch like bag. And the final way is just with a long strap on the side. Now this bag was definitely a keeper in my eye, it's definitely something that I will wear on repeat and I can imagine wearing in a few years time. For me when it comes to purchasing anything, especially of a higher price value, it's all about longevity, it's all about how much cost per wear and how much you're going to wear that piece, that really makes everything worth it. Moving on to Zara, so again I do shop the new in but I don't want to get too distracted. I have my eye on a checked blazer and this is what I am after at the moment. It'll be perfect for autumn, so I literally flick through and have a look at a couple of options. Now, I went through quite a few. What I really didn't want was anything too figure hugging and I didn't want anything with a single button. I like a double breasted blazer and this one was pretty perfect. The colors were perfect. It's really hard to find a kind of subtle, checked print and I was really impressed with this one but I ordered it in a small and a medium just so I can compare the sizes. So when it arrived Zara packaging is great because it's all recyclable. I was really pleased with the initial reaction to the blazer which was the colorway was beautiful and I really loved the fabric. It was a really soft fabric, like it would give a little bit of warmth, which is really important now that it's getting a little bit colder. But I could definitely also wear a jumper underneath or layer a coat on top. And that is pretty crucial because as we are fastly approaching November, I would want to be able to wear this in the next month too. The main reason I wanted this blazer was actually for a upcoming trip. I'm heading to Marrakesh and it's not going to be too warm there. So I want something that's kind of in the middle I can wear with a t-shirt or I can wear in the evening with a dress. So this is in a medium, as you can see the sleeves were quite long and it just kind of drowned me a little bit. So I ended up trying on the small, which fit perfectly. Definitely enough room to wear a chunky knit underneath it fits on my sleeves perfectly and this is a really versatile blazer this is something that comes in every single year so i know i'll be able to pull this out again next year mango is definitely a bit of my weakness i kind of do a bulk shop with mango it's never somewhere that i go to for just one thing i end up caving and buying a few things so i go through new in and for me their campaign images always sell things to me like these herringbone culottes i've seen a few people style culottes on my instagram recently and i have loved seeing it i wanted to give it a go so i added that to my bag in a size 8. 
I was also in need of a black chunky knit and this one caught my eye because of the texture. It has these really thick grey details going through it and I really like that in a black knit because it just adds some dimension and it doesn't look too flat. The next thing that caught my eye was this blouse. I've really been into kind of more feminine blouses at the moment because I think they look really great underneath a structured blazer or with some tailored trousers and this one is very simple it's very classic and I can imagine myself wearing this with quite a few different options. Finally this bag caught my eye after looking at the new Gucci horse bit bag. This one looks very simple and it's in a really nice brown crop print and it's only £19.99 so I wanted to see how this would be in person. And so delivery day came and truthfully I was a little bit disappointed with Mango's packaging. I think they could really improve on the excess packaging. There's just so much there and I think it's a little bit unnecessary. But moving on to the black jumper. This one was perfect. It was really soft, not itchy at all. It's slightly cropped. It's not super oversized or anything. So you can tuck it into your jeans or trousers. And again, this grey detail was as beautiful in person as I thought it would be online. And it just looked really perfect paired with a black coat over it because it just had that dimension to it. I really like working with textures because a lot of my outfits are very minimal and kind of pulled back so I really like mixing it up with textures. So moving on to the culottes, so this was kind of a test purchase. I mean I used to wear culottes when I was 18 or 19 and my figure has changed completely since then. So this could have gone two ways, it could either look really cool or I could just have ended up looking like a schoolboy. And truth be told, I wasn't sold on this at first. As soon as I put it on I just felt like my calves looked massive and everyone has their insecurities and that is one of mine. So I tried playing with a few different shoe styles and it was quite difficult to find something that looked flattering. I liked the knee high boot with it but I just felt like I shouldn't have to work this hard to find a way to be comfortable in them. It felt like something that may have gotten worn once and then kind of left in my cupboard to collect dust and that's not something that I would want from my wardrobe. I'm really trying to cut back and only purchase things that add value to my everyday dressing and if it's something that's just going to take up space it's not something that should really be there. As for the blouse, I pretty much fell in love instantly. It was perfect and for the price tag, it was of really great value. So it's in a kind of fluid like material. It's quite sheer, which is something to consider. So you'd probably want to wear a top underneath if you were planning on wearing it in autumn. But it's kind of just a fail proof blouse. You could wear it both professionally and casually and I think that that is really a winning point for me because it means that it's so versatile and that means plenty of wear. I also just love how feminine the blouse is, I think it just looks so flattering. And I also really love how feminine and fluid like the actual blouse is, it looks really great with a pair of tailored trousers. Finally, the more affordable bag in this video. Initial reaction was that I was quite impressed. I like that it's a crossbody bag. I like that it's small and practical and compact. And it also has two compartments, which is pretty great for a affordable bag. So all in all, I was really impressed with this handbag and I actually do see myself getting a lot of wear out of it. So I'm going to let it sit in my dresser for the next week and see how I get on with it and see if I do end up wearing it a lot because that will help me decide whether to keep it or not. So now that my shopping is complete, I am going to take a break from it for a while and I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video, which should be a styling video. So I will see you all then. Bye.